Hello guys and welcome to How to Tech. In today's video, we are going to talk about the newly released Pika 1.0 and its amazing features. So right now, which you're seeing in front of you is pika.art slash login. I'll be giving the link in the description as well. And you'll be having two different methods to log in to Pika. Uh, by the way, the waiting list is hopefully over because earlier I used to find a waiting list over here, which is not there any longer. So hopefully the waiting list is gone. You can go ahead and sign in to Pika directly. A huge relief for people who are not uh, who were not too much comfortable in using Discord because of the technicalities. So they have come up with their own website so all you need to do is sign in with google give your email id and your password and that's it you're logged in to pika.art their homepage. now you'll be having two separate tabs all together one called the explore and the other is my library basically in my library we'll be doing all the experiments and saving our own work right so right at the bottom you'll be seeing something called describe your story where you need to enter your own prompts so i've given the prompt as as beautiful cyberpunk female mad scientist hyper detailed with goggles right so let's see what does pika generate out of this so all you have to do is click on this particular icon by the way you'll be getting 30 free credits once you sign up and each and every generation you'll be losing 10 credits so since i have already generated a video that particular 10 credit is gone out of my account so now the generation is ready there is a full mm, full screen mode over here and as evident it's only for three seconds right so the first generation that you are going to do uh, in terms of video is just going to limit yourself for three seconds that's it so this looks pretty good in fact neat right and there are several other options as well which says retry reprompt so let us explore these one by one and see how well we can leverage pika retry will be retrying the same prompt uh, but with different uh, you know uh, outputs so let us go ahead and try the retry button okay so <laughs> you might get disastrous as well i did not promise you that pika is absolutely 100 percent going to give you fantastic results you have to experiment this is going to be a disaster sometime as well so i guess the previous result was far better so yeah you can go ahead retry once again let's move on to the next option which is reprompt let me go ahead and show you what reprompt does uh, if i click on the reprompt option it will select that particular video and it will highlight the prompt for me at the bottom now, if I want, I can go ahead and change that prompt according to my wish, right? So let's say I do not want this uh, female to be a mad scientist. So I will go ahead and delete this mad scientist from here. I'll position her in the streets of New York. So I say beautiful cyberpunk female in the streets of New York City, right? And then hyper detailed and goggles. So indirectly i'm going to change the subject right uh, now all i need to do is click on this particular button and it will go ahead and do the reprompting okay it's generating the image let us wait for some time and there you go this is going to be the final output and let us go ahead and zoom this a bit yeah that's i think this is superb right so it is no longer the mad female scientist who is going to do all the experiments in a lab rather she is positioned in the streets of new york city so i hope that you are clear with the reprompt option as well moving on we have edit now this is a bit tricky because in edit you might not find exactly what you're wishing for so you have to do a lot of experiments and stuffs so if i click on the edit i'll now get two options which is modify region and expand the canvas so with the modify region i can go ahead and modify the exact region that that needs modification and okay i'll click on modify region and it brings the same video that i had clicked and over here i can go ahead and do any alteration that i want now let's say i want to remove the goggles right so i say beautiful cyberpunk female in the streets of new york hyper detail and then i'll go ahead and remove the goggles without goggles and let me click on expand canvas so with the expand canvas if you need your output to be on your mobile you'll go ahead and click on you know 9 is to 16 
So by default, my setting is 16 is to 9. Now I can, uh, if you want, you can go ahead and change this. And now I'll try to remove the goggles. I do not know whether that will be successful or not. So yeah. Okay. So keeping my fingers crossed, let me go ahead and click on this button. And okay, we have the result. I'll go ahead and zoom this a bit. So it has clearly removed the goggles. So guys, this is phenomenal, right? You can achieve a lot of modification in your video that you want. And right now it's a simple thing that I've done. I've just removed the goggles. It exactly did what I want, uh, what I wanted it to do, right? But you may, I might not be that much lucky. Uh, you see the, although it did change the facial expression of the lady a bit. So if I uh, go ahead and try to compare both of them, you know, the appearance of the lady on the right seems to be a lot different than the lady on the left. So you have to be careful with using your uh, edit option. Now moving on to the next option, which is add four seconds. Now, this has got a trade off. You can keep on adding four seconds to your video, but it will sort of distort the quality of the video a bit, right? So you need to be very careful. There is this very serious trade off that comes. And also one more thing, if you're using the basic plan, which just has got, you know, the free plan with 30 credits per day, then you won't be able to add the four seconds. That is a new set uh, that has come up from Pika. Okay, so just to show you how the add four seconds works, uh, what I have done is I have logged into my other account, which has only three seconds of this particular animation, a boy running down the street. Uh, and what I have done is I have added four seconds over here. So now you see the length of the video is still seven seconds. And if I try to zoom this up a bit, you'll be seeing that this particular video is uh, of a total duration of seven seconds. but Look at the observation when when the video is sort of at the uh, fifth, sixth, seventh second mark, the animation distorts a bit. So this is what I am telling you guys that be very careful while adding four seconds to your video because there is a trade off and you will lose that clarity which you were getting in the initial frames. So be very careful. Okay, this is going to be the last option, which is upscale. Now for upscaling, I'm using a different account because you do not have the, uh, you know, option of upscaling any longer in your basic plan, right? So if you use the upscale and this is very important, remember that you should be using the upscale only with text prompts and not with images or video. So so I have click on upscale and as you can see on the top left hand side, it gives you the info upscale, right? Okay, now let us go ahead and see how I have created this animation using an image. So all these things which you are seeing, all these animations are actually created using images. So you see this particular animation that I have did. It is also using a mid journey image and I have imported that image over to Pika and I have tried to animate this. And there's this option at the bottom, which says image or video. All you have to do is click on this, right? And let's say I want to, this is an image that I have generated from mid journey. So I'll try to import this over here and I'll go ahead and click on this particular button. But before that, uh, it already has the same option that I've already told you. High region and the expand of canvas are going to be there. Yeah, so, uh, so I have imported this and now let's go ahead and see what it does. I'll click on this particular button and my animation is done. So this looks really cute and imagine this is just coming out from a high HD image that I have generated using mid journey. So similarly, you can go ahead and experiment with any videos as well. So I hope that all the options I have covered in this Pika tutorial will be useful for you. You go ahead and try to explore them on your own. If you are having any problem, you do let me know in the comment section and, and I'll try my level best to answer. Thank you so much for watching as usual and have a nice day. Bye bye.